well, friends, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. I have been so focused on decluttering that every other part of my house has taken a toll, especially this kitchen. It is 100% the most disgusting thing that I've walked into. And I would love to say that, oh my gosh, my kitchen never looks this way. This never happens. It's more often than I would like to admit. And that's just fine, is what I will continue to tell myself. So today I'm taking a break from decluttering and we are cleaning this dang kitchen. Get your butt up and we are cleaning something, whether you have the kitchen, bathroom, a singular toilet, a singular sink of dishes, I don't care. Get up and clean with me. And if you're wondering where all my energy is coming from, it's Duncan today, it's not Scooters. That's the creepiest thing. How long has she been sitting there for? That chili bowl stinks so bad, oh my god. Okay, like are those actually that much bigger though? They just kind of look like the peanut m and sizes. Disappointing. We're only like five minutes in and I've already had an ADHD moment. I mean like a hair bigger. Not worth the mega though. Easter was recently and this child made out like a bandit with this candy and I don't know how much candy I still have from other Easter's so I'm gonna try to put it all in one baggie that way it's not all over the house I mean I also got candy so I'm not complaining but like all the Easter candy nobody needs this much candy I'm not gonna cry. Do you ever just feel like you are fighting an uphill battle? And it doesn't really matter what you do, it's just kind of uphill. That's how I feel with cleaning and decluttering. I feel like I am just losing every turn I take. I just feel like, I don't know, I just got overwhelmed by the kitchen um, and all the stuff in the kitchen. I'm like, what am I doing with all this stuff? I'm just moving stuff around, but like, it's not my stuff. I can't do anything with it, but it's still stuff. You know what I mean? And I've been feeling this way all week, which is why I wanted to get the kitchen done because I just, I declutter and I've been decluttering for like a month now and I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere because I'm doing the spaces, like I've done most of the closets, right? So like, I know that those aren't spaces that I open and use all the time, but when I do open and use them, I feel much better about them. But it's so hard to come to the main level and just see all of the stuff that I still have to go through and manage and honestly a lot of the times I feel like I'm doing it completely alone and unsupported because it's just an uphill battle and the only way I'm going to get out of the uphill battle is when I move and I'm in my own space and I'm the only adult and I'm in control. Where right now I just feel like I do one thing and then a hundred other things pop up. So if you feel that way you're not alone and we're fine. Perfect. All right, midway progress. 
So unfortunately, my son and I tried to start some seeds inside. My thumb is not green and we're gonna have to redo these uh, because the cats, like, do you see how low this is? It used to be up here. The cats have made beds in these and then they scratch them and the dirt comes out. I don't even think the seeds are in half of these. So we're gonna have to start all over on these. There were vegetables and some other kind of plant, but since it's getting warmer out, we should be able to do them outside instead of keeping them inside so the cats can't destroy them. That sucks, because we worked hard on those. I employed some help with the kitchen. <laughs> I'm not sure how much help it is, but I love it. <laughs> Don't put it down, put it away. Sit. Good girl. Have fun. Sit. Good boy. Have fun. Go. All right, friends. I failed to realize that I have no more scrubbing sponges for the dishes, and I have like this much left in here. So we have to go grocery shopping tonight after soccer practice, anyways. So that's where I'm gonna wrap it up right now, but I will see you guys back here later to do a load of dishes and finish the countertops. I will be right back. So it's 8 p.m. and we just got back from the grocery store and soccer practice. So I've got a lot of groceries to put away and dinner to make and dishes to do. So luckily I'm feeling pretty good about all of that. I feel like I'm having like a high energy kind of a day. We'll see how long that lasts. Hopefully at least until I get a good portion of this done, so let's do that. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own But baby, it's another lie, remember you were me I try to work, 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 but it doesn't work I try to say something, but there's a word I try to justify my actions, less reactions So this side of the sink hasn't been touched in a hot minute, so I'm just getting this side filled up with hot soapy water um, so that way all of this can like soak and then I can clean. Oh my god, yeah. I'm really hoping that this is a lot of the dirt from the plants that the cat kicked in here. However, I don't really know.
All right, so I cleared this side. That's all the other dishes that are soaking. I doubt that I'm gonna be able to finish all those tonight. I haven't eaten yet and it's nine o'clock and I still have to do the countertops, but I do wanna get the countertops done because I am dog sitting for like five or six days. Um, so I want to get those done now, but I am being gracious with myself and kind of like listening to my body and my energy levels like I always do, but I'm still feeling pretty good. Um, I think it's just because I know that I won't be home for a little bit, so I just want to get some of this done. This next part though is going to be extremely satisfying because I'm about to scrub the crap out of this side of the sink. I did it the other side a couple of weeks ago. Just, just wait, just wait. Ta-da! The sink isn't like ever this shiny with just like regular sprays and stuff. So it's beautiful. Just don't look at that side that I haven't touched yet today. Gorgeous. I just ate and I'm ready to clean up because it's 9.45 now. We're just gonna clean up and go to bed, friends. Finish it up. Let's get it done. Finish strong. <laughs> Oh, I really don't want to. Oh my god. Look at how beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. There she is in all of her beauty. Look at it. Ta -da! And it's only 10 16 at night. <laughs> and I still lit the ceremonious candle. I really didn't want to finish, but I did. I did. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. We will get back to decluttering in the next one. I promise. I just needed to handle some other stuff in the house that I've been neglecting. So. I will see you guys next time. Bye.